The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray is an aerial refueling drone that resulted from the carrier-based aerial refueling system program, which grew out of the earlier unmanned carrier-launched airborne surveillance and strike program. The United States Navy began its efforts to develop an aircraft carrier-based UAV in 2006. The original UCLASS concept was for a stealthy strike platform capable of penetrating enemy air defenses. In 2012, lethality and strike requirements were diluted in order to create an intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance-oriented aircraft that could be developed quickly to conduct low-intensity counterterrorism missions. On 1 February 2016, after many delays over whether the UCLASS would specialize in strike or ISR roles, it was reported that a significant portion of the effort would be directed to produce a Super Hornet-sized carrier-based aerial refueling tanker as the carrier-based aerial refueling system, with a little ISR, and some capabilities for communications relay, and strike capabilities put off to a future version of the aircraft. In July 2016, it was officially named MQ-25A Stingray, after being named RAQ-25A in the Navy previously. The Pentagon apparently made this program change in order to address the Navy's expected fighter shortfall by directing funds to buy additional F-A-18E F Super Hornets and accelerate purchases and development of the F-35C. Having the CBARS as the first carrier-based UAV provides a less complex bridge to the future F-AXX, should it be an unmanned strike platform. It also addresses the carrier's need for an organic refueling aircraft, proposed as a mission for the UCLASS since 2014, freeing up the 20-30% of Super Hornets performing the mission in a more capable and cost-effective manner than modifying the F-35, V-22 Osprey, and E-2D Hawkeye, or bringing the retired S-3 Viking back into service. Four development contracts were issued in 2016, with a formal RFP expected in 2017, with operational status in the early to mid-2020s. Michael Manazier has suggested that three of these UCAVs could fly with an F-35 for refueling and sensor operation. Mike Shoemaker said that the MQ-25 can extend the Super Hornet's 450 miles unrefueled combat radius to beyond 700 miles. The Navy's goal for the aircraft is to be able to deliver 15,000 pounds of fuel total to four to six airplanes at a range of 500 miles. The Navy released the final MQ-25 Stingray request for proposals in October 2017 to Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and General Atomics. Boeing secretly finished building its wing body tail in 2014 when the UCLASS program was paused, and revived it for the CBARS mission. On 19 December 2017, Boeing unveiled its prototype aircraft entrant incorporating lessons learned from the Boeing Phantom Ray flying wing and its other unmanned aerial systems. Boeing's MQ-25 design is not new for the tanking mission, but Boeing says that was considered when designing it. Northrop Grumman announced on 25 October 2017 that it was withdrawing its X-47B from the MQ-25 competition, saying the company would have been unable to execute the program under the terms of the service's request for proposals. The company's departure signaled to some analysts that the Navy's requirements could favor wing body tail designs, not the flying wings thought to be proposed by Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin. On 30 August 2018, the U.S. Navy announced Boeing as the winner of the competition and awarded an $805 million development contract for four MQ-25A aircraft to be completed by August 2024. An additional three test MQ-25 as were ordered on 2 April 2020 for a current total order of seven. The program may expand to $13 billion overall and consist of 72 aircraft. In late April 2019, the first MQ-25 test aircraft was taken by road from Boeing's technical plant at St. Louis's Lambert International Airport across the Mississippi River to Mid-America St. Louis Airport, which is conjoined to Scott Air Force Base. Following taxi tests, the Federal Aviation Administration certified the aircraft and granted airspace for flight testing. The MQ-25 took its first flight on 19 September 2019. In December 2020, Boeing released video showing the first flight of the MQ-25 with Cobham Aerial Refueling Store externally mounted. On 4 June 2021, the first refueling test was conducted, with the MQ-25 providing fuel to AF-A18F Super Hornet. The mission lasted about 4.5 hours with the two aircraft performing numerous dry or wet connects for more than 10 minutes and 325 pounds of fuel transferred in total. Boeing's MQ-25 design is powered by one Rolls-Royce A3007N turbofan engine delivering 10,000 pounds of thrust. This is a variant of the engine used to power the Navy's MQ-4C Triton. The aircraft is less stealthy than flying wing UAVs.